Hey, that was quick. Yeah, Granny made it when Mrs. Siegel was here earlier. There's still some left. Still didn't answer my question. Which was? You were sort of lost in thought when I came in. What about? Maybe I was trying to be one of your grandmother's gypsies. Read the future in the flames. Right now, I'm very happy with the present. Aren't you? I'd like it if we could make time stand still for a while. So would I. But I guess even the gypsies can't do that. Look, well, Phil, it... If you went to college, maybe you, you could get a student deferment. If I'm not drafted before then. But even if that did work, Tara, I'd, I'd have to live at home because the folks can't afford to send me out. And I just don't know if I can do that. Tara? Yes? We haven't talked about it since... Well, I'm not sure if you still feel the, the like you did before. About us? I'll never change, Phil. You know that. But I mean, if, if, if I did enlist... I'd want us to be married. You're sure? I'm sure... I'm sure that I want to be with you wherever you go. But I want you to be sure that you're doing what you want to do. I know you planned on going to college. But I, I'm scared that... I'm scared for you that you'll make the wrong decision. Well, I'm not going to make any decision tonight. Okay. Hey, I've got to get the car back to Aunt Amy. Call you in the morning? Mm. And don't forget to thank your Aunt Amy. I will. Oh, are you leaving already, Phil? Yes, sir, I have to... Get the car back to Aunt Amy. She's at our house still. Oh, give her my regards. I guess Mom's home by now? Yeah, she should be. Look, you see that she goes to bed early and gets a good night's sleep. Yeah, I'll try, Doctor. Good night, sir. Good night, Phil. Good night, Tara. Uh. Well, it's a wonderful world again, huh? Daddy, don't tease me. I'm not. I'm being perfectly serious. While you two were on the outs, you were a very miserable young lady. But I'm glad to see that God's in his heaven and all's right with the world. Well, not completely. Oh, why not? Dad, how well do you know Phil's father? Well, you know I've seen him a couple of times about his back. He doesn't seem to dig Phil at all. He just doesn't seem to trust him. Yes, I'm sorry about that, Duchess. But you're not surprised. Does Mrs. Brent ever talk to you about it? Why do you think she would do that? Well, you're good friends, aren't you? Well, I hope so. After all, we work together every day. She seems really different from Mr. Brent. Yes. I think she has to put up with a lot that, like Phil does from him. Well, you've got to realize that Mr. Brent has had a lot of disappointments in his life. He's a very frustrated man. Well, there's no reason for him to take his frustrations out on Phil and on Mrs. Brent. You wouldn't do that. Oh. Well, I hope I wouldn't, but you never know how you're going to act until you're in a given situation. Look, you wouldn't act like that. I know it. And I, I really don't see how she can put up with it. Oh, Tara, don't, don't talk. All right, I'm sorry, but it just doesn't seem fair to me at all. Well, you're going to have to learn that life isn't already, always fair. Well, that sure is true. I mean, as much as you and Mother loved each other and everything, and then she had to die. And then you see this really wonderful person right, like Tara, Phil... Tara, stop. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but if she's your friend, well, you must feel badly for her, don't you? Well, I also know I must not overstep the bounds of friendship. You're right. I guess you are always right. But, Daddy, what's going to happen? I mean, what is going to happen? I don't know, Duchess. I really don't know.